Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. From time to time, I compare the rolling returns of the Nifty, Nifty Next 50, Nifty Mid Cap 150, and the Nifty Small Cap 250. I think the last time I did it was sometime in early 2024, and I would like to do it again now. So before we begin, um, you should understand what a rolling returns chart is. This is how a rolling returns chart looks like. This is a comparison of the Nifty 50 uh, in green and the Nifty Next 50 in yellow. So this will have uh, thousands of data points. Each data point is a 10 year uh, return CAGR. So an annualized return over 10 years. So you basically take a, a 10 year window and you shift that 10 year window by every business day. And you keep shifting it and you find out how the returns vary. Uh, one thing that's very, very important is that everybody has started using rolling returns these days, but uh, they do the mistake of taking the average of a rolling return chart. You should never take the average. See, for example, look at the yellow line. The yellow line looks up and down like that. What is the point of taking an average like this? A rolling return tells you what has been the spread of returns in the past, how volatile returns have been in the past. And when you compare uh, two different data sets, either a fund and its benchmark or two different benchmarks or two different funds, it tells you what has outperformed the other in the past. You cannot use it to find an average and say this is the average of a rolling return. That makes absolutely no sense. So now if you look at this, the Nifty Next 50 has um, typically done better than the Nifty 50. But of course, the margin of the outperformance keeps uh, fluctuating. Sometimes it's very high, sometimes it's low. So it's a, it's a it can be a frustrating index to hold as many of you would have found out by now. And many of you have existed also because of the frustration. So if you're uh, going to invest in this fund, you must be ready for, in the Nifty Next 50, I mean, uh, you must be ready for long periods of underperformance with respect to the uh, Nifty 50 or with respect to the Nifty Mid Cap 150. Now, if you look at the Nifty Mid Cap 150, when I last did this uh, analysis a year or so back, I pointed out uh, that that was the f around the first time that the Nifty Mid Cap 150 has pulled away from the Nifty Next 50. And uh, now you can see that the uh, this is the, uh, I plotted it last time. This was the last data point somewhere here. And now you can see that the margin of outperformance is significantly reduced. So uh, don't expect this margin of outperformance to be very high in the future. It can um, it can fluctuate, but you can see that. Um, there's not too much sometimes. I mean, sometimes there's a significant performance and sometimes there's not significant performance. So you can't, there's very little data to tell you whether this is mid cap 150 is better than Nifty Next 50 or not. So because for most of the limited history, already the limited his history is limited. And even within that limited history, for most of the time, the two indices have been similar. And only for a couple of years, last two, three years, the Nifty mid cap 150 has pulled up, up away from the Nifty Next 50. And even that margin is, of outperformance has come down recently in the last few months and so. So uh, you can't say in the future, should I use mid cap 150 or Nifty next 50? I, I wouldn't know which will perform better. Nobody can know that. But I mean, my, my uh, thinking has always been that if you want a little bit extra return than the Nifty 50, uh, the Nifty next 50 is enough because the Nifty mid cap 150 has got 150 stocks. During a, a market crisis, there can be liquidity issues uh, in this sector more than the Nifty Next 50. Uh, I, at least that is uh, my my thinking. I can be wrong, but that's how I would say. I would prefer, <coughs> excuse me, I would prefer the Nifty Next 50 to the mid cap 150. This is um, a comparison of the small cap 250 to the Nifty Next 50. The small cap 250, um, it's it doesn't really outperformed too much whatever uh, this was the only time it outperformed recently in the last couple of years and then it has fallen back to the nifty next 50. so don't invest in nifty small cap 250 it makes no sense at all and what is more important is if i add the mid cap uh, 150 to this that is the pink line that compare the pink line with the green line the small cap 250 you can see that the uh, green line has always been below the pink line the nifty mid cap 150 is has outperformed the Nifty Small Cap 250 most of the time. And more importantly, if you compare the Nifty Mid Cap 150 with the uh, 
active small cap indices you will see that most of the active small cap indices do not consistently beat the nifty mid cap 150 so that is the reason why i say don't buy small cap index funds don't buy active uh, small cap in, uh, index funds sorry uh, active actively manage small cap funds uh, small cap index funds you 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 have to only choose between nifty mid cap 150 and nifty next 50 so even if even if you compare active mid cap funds with nifty mid cap mid cap 150 many of the active mid cap funds have not outperformed the nifty mid cap 150 so so the choice is only between nifty next 50 and nifty mid cap 150 what will perform better in future like i just mentioned we don't know so uh, i would still sit with uh, nifty next 50 for those who want a slightly extra return at significantly higher risk compared to the nifty 50 so uh, many people complain oh no no you should not compare uh, actively managed small cap funds with nifty mid cap 150 i am not doing a phd thesis here i have already done that mistake once like i mentioned several times before i am here asking if i am going to pay a pretty penny for performance uh, or for management fund management what is the best fund that will give me the the reasonable performance at reasonable cost and that is not uh, an actively managed small cap fund and if i compare it with the nifty mid cap 150 so th that's how my thinking is my thinking has not changed because of this data i would still prefer uh i would say that for youngsters it is enough to just invest in nifty 50 at best you can invest in nifty 100 uh, or okay you, you you want one fund nifty 500 go ahead and invest in it but if, if you say i will choose nifty 50 and i want a little bit extra returns choose the nifty next 50 and be done with it with some with some proportion be aware of the risks even with respect to nifty 500 there are risks nifty 500 will not always beat the nifty 50 i've shown this several times before when the mid caps and small caps outperform nifty 500 will outperform the nifty 50 but when they uh, do not outperform nifty 500 will fall down to the performance of the nifty 50 so don't expect outperformance uh, anywhere so that is the reason why i'm saying be happy uh, with nifty 50 because the problem with fomo is everybody has fomo uh, but the problem with fomo is they don't know when to uh, draw the line you don't know when to draw the line because there will always be fomo you choose one index you choose another index so uh, this is um, how things stand as of September 2025 and my thinking about uh, the indices uh, has not changed. If the data changes, I'm happy to change my opinion, but as of now, the data has not changed.